Oh, Capricorn, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 10th, guys. We just have that incredible Lionsgate portal. The energies are just shifting in such incredible ways. Now, I did just do your weekly love forecast, so if you're interested in that, the link for that is down below. And thank you so much to my Patreon subscribers. When you support me on Patreon, you have access to all 12 love forecasts every week, all month, all additional 48 videos. So thank you so much for that. All right, Capricorn, we are going to jump right into this. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising. So check all three. And if you're unsure what you are, there's a free calculator down below. Okay, let's jump in. Looking like a good week, Caps. Yes, and the theme for the week. Can I get a hallelujah? This is good, Capricorn. King of Cups, Two of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Wands, The Empress, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. The theme of the week is the star. Hell yes, we could all use one of these weeks. This is a beautiful week of partnerships, of love, of family. There for a second Capricorn my computer shut down now we're back up again again picking up where I left off this is an incredible week for relationships starting out with the king of cups and the two of wands guys this is a lot of harmony and fulfillment in your relationships good communication and forward movement now there is going to be a tiny little bit of a rocky patch this week but it's nothing to worry about I'll talk about that in a second this is about you and your partner or perhaps the people that you live with because it is home it is family to some degree, finding really deeply loving and creative ways of working things out, of finding solutions, of communicating, of moving forward with your goals and your dreams. I love this energy. There's so many ambitious choices that you're going to be making in relationship and home really shooting for it some of you guys might decide to just up and move or get married or start your own business be financially independent it's going to really differ across the board so i can give you a million examples the point is is that you're working together in partnership in relationship or just in the household so if you're a single capricorn maybe with your family or maybe with business partners or collaborators creative partners in some way and finding really happy and, and not just it's not just compromise it's actually a joyful solutions that both people really are good with they're both on board with really supportive really deeply harmonious and loving relationships this week now we do have the five of wands and I did pull some clarity cards, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. And so the Five of Wands does have to do with like verbal altercations, a little bit of drama, maybe a little bit of arguments or maybe some misunderstandings. But you have two Nines, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. This is about you guys persevering, learning how to um, have positive conflict resolution, learning to find a middle ground, working it together. The Nine of Wands, like stay determined, keep going, keep going that course. Don't be like, oh, I throw in the towel. Don't be dramatic. The Nine of Cups, you're going to be good. And this is a good conversation. So sometimes conversations could, if you're perhaps you know, unhealthy or maybe not emotionally mature, yeah, they could turn toxic or they can be really productive in finding those solutions and learning how to work together and learning how to problem solve together and learning how to kind of move through the waves of life and a relationship together as one. And it's going to lead to this amazing emotional fulfillment. Now we have the four of wands and the empress. Now for some Capricorns, like I said, the four of wands is a time of a lot of prosperity and abundance and joy in the home. It's the card of marriage as well. You could be buying new homes like I said moving um, getting married or just moving in together the Empress is about creating a whole new life it can be a physical life so congratulations to those Capricorns out there who are deciding to start a family but this is an amazing time to really act on your plans and that's what this week is about Capricorn you and your partner are talking working together or partner romantic platonic if you business partner friend family talking working together finding solutions to get things going maybe things slowed down there for a little bit maybe halted all together and now it's like all right back on track how are we going to do this how are we going to do this we could both work together and both find ways that, that makes us both happy because we love each other or we really want to work together or we really want to collaborate together and this is wonderful this is you're going to be rewarded when you have the four of wands it's a reward of abundance and prosperity and happiness for all of your hard work working together i mean i know we see a man and woman here 
here, but don't look at it. Just, it's just two people that know how to work together because what they love or what they are focused on is greater than any kind of BS. You know what I'm saying? And so it's a time of action, communication, movement, growth, happiness. Now we have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. Capricorn, this is a good ass week. Ten of Cups is harmony in your relationships and your home, emotional security and love. And it's like it's a it's like the the partners and the kids and the white picket fence, you know, all of that. And then you have it with the two of cups. This is all kinds of soulmates. It's all kind of incredible soulmate energy. Two of cups too, it's positive conflict resolution. So it could be two people coming back together again, finding healing, finding that common ground because these are kindred spirits. Whoever this is is a kindred spirit, a soulmate. And soulmates are romantic, but they're also platonic. But when you have the Ten of Cups, there's so much harmony and love. Oh, Capricorn, I'm so happy to see this because I've been watching. I keep track of everybody's and I see how earlier energy is a lot of movement in, in work and finance, a lot of stress. But what an incredible week of emotional happiness and fulfillment and blessings and love, love, love love Capricorn. Now the theme of the week is the star, which is the dream come true. In my opinion, I think it's the best card in tarot. Um, but it's not just because of luck. It's because you went through some challenges. You had some real difficult situations. And you know what, Capricorn, there's nothing like those moments that really solidify things for you that could actually deepen bonds, deepen relationships and respect can actually, when you go through those trials with somebody can actually solidify your sense of appreciation, and love for another person who walks that path with you. And as a result of sticking through it and staying determined and figuring out all these crazy twists and turns of life, you're being blessed in an incredible way. And for many Capricorns, it is marriage, it is home, it is love, it is relationships, it is birthing new reality. Some are rebirthing children, having this incredible emotional security in the home, in your relationships, in your families, and really learning how to work together in a way that rises above ridiculous ego minutia. It's really about the love is so incredible that it conquers any kind of fear. And I'm, I'm, and I know that can be challenging for us, but love should be greater than your fear. It's okay to have fear, but when it is, oh, you move mountains, Capricorn. I'm so happy to see this. Now, if you would like a more um, in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, those things are down below. Also, access to your love, a more in-depth love forecast for this week of August 10th. If you support me on Patreon, you have access to every Zodiac love forecast every week. That's an additional 48 videos every single month. And thank you to those who do support me on Patreon and purchase on Vimeo, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm very, very, very grateful to all of you. I hope this serves you, Capricorn. Sorry for that little break in the video. Otherwise, guys, take care, and I will see you next week for next week's videos.